Hi everyone. Um, cheers to new beginnings. New year, new you, new resolve. We all know the drill. Set goals, hit the go button, and be great, right? At least that's how it starts out. We have the best intentions, but our goals are too narrow, too rigid, and downright unreasonable. Just a fun fact, did y'all know that January the 17th is informally known as Ditch Your New Year's Resolution Day? To put that into perspective, in just five days from now, most New Year's resolutions will already be ditched and put on hold until next December 31st. That blew my mind. But anyway, back to what I was saying. For many, exercising is always top of mind when it comes to New Year resolutions. But let me share a secret with you and save you some time. If weight loss is your main goal for starting a fitness routine, just quit now. The number one reason people report that they exercise is to lose weight. Don't misunderstand me. Exercise can promote weight loss, but is that all? If you are only working out to lose weight, it ain't gonna last. You are not, when you are not seeing the results on the scale, your motivation will start to dwindle. After you lose a couple of pounds, you start feeling yourself and you're like, oh, look at me. <laughs> you won't be as enthusiastic about going to the gym. And then those skip days will turn into skip weeks. And before you know it, you're back at square one. Now, I'm speaking from experience and it's exhausting just thinking about it. You know, weight is very fickle. She's very fickle. Therefore, it has to be more to your workout routine than just fitting into a cute pair of jeans. Exercise at any age is beneficial. Weight loss is just one of the many lifelong benefits. Studies suggest that a regular workout regimen also helps to promote better sleep, prevent disease, lift your mood, and boost your overall immune system. Let's not forget about the effects of exercise on the aging process. And if you like me, preserving my youth is very important. As we age, our muscles get shorter and tighter, which causes our flexibility, balance, coordination, all to be compromised. Participating in a regular exercise routine, oh, I'm sorry, in, in a regular exercise routine, oh, ah, participating in a regular exercise routine will help you keep your, keep you limber, stable, and able to keep your body moving for years to come. There are two types of exercises you should be focused on. The first one is cardio, such as walking, biking, swimming, and dancing. Cardio is essential and it helps to keep your heart strong and your mind sharp. The second is strength training. Strength training involves weights and is important for muscle retention. If you allow your muscles to go atrophy, you know, waste away, you will find it harder to complete even simple daily tasks as you age. This makes me think about my mother-in-law. She's in her 80s and over the years has been slowly losing the functions and the strength in her hands. It's to the point now that she can't even open a bottle of water on her, by herself. Now you may be thinking, but she's in her 80s. That seems about right. But let me help you. I have read stories about 80 year olds who are still lifting weights and still running marathons. So don't let that age trick you into thinking your legs are just a natural part of life. But that's a sermon for another day. The point is, 
if you take care of your body while you're young, your body will take care of you as you age. Think about this. It's one of those use it or lose it situations. If your only goal for exercising is weight loss, just quit now. It's not a sustainable reason and it will not last. As you focus on your long-term health and well-being, shedding a, a few pounds will be a natural side effect of your efforts. When it comes to weight, health, and wellness, think long-term versus short-term. Now, I know that sometimes sticking to your wellness program can be easier said than done. Even the best of intentions can fall short without the proper tools and support. If you find yourself in that space, you may consider hiring a professional wellness coach. What could a wellness coach offer? A wellness coach can offer that stretch and support that you need to finally achieve sustainable results. As a wellness coach, I also offer strategies and tools to get you out of your own way so that you can make your mental, emotional, and physical wellness a priority and find fulfillment in your life. If you have tried on your own time after time and just can't seem to get it right, you can benefit from a wellness coach. If you are tired of struggling year after year with not achieving your wellness goals, you can benefit from a wellness coach. Now in the meantime, go out there, hit the gym, hit the trail, hit the pool, man, even get on your living room floor and dance the night away and live a revitalized life for years to come. Cheers to taking action and cheers to new beginnings. Thank you.